Hey guys, it's Denise Cooper and I am doing my wrap up for the week. I had such an amazing time, you guys. Oh, the glare, I'm sorry. So, I had an amazing time and so I won't be able to see if I'm totally in focus or anything like that because I might need my mirror is over there but anyway you guys i know i told you guys that i saw the jubilee play of i can't cope i can't cope is an amazing play first of all and i know it was an older play so i did go on youtube and take a look at the play and yeah it was good it was good it was good you know the because the content of the play the, the writing everything is great right and this is it's amazing but what's amazing <laughs> is the cast at the Jubilee. Oh my goodness. Please look up Jubilee Theater in Fort Worth, Texas and just check out the names of the cast that were in the play. I wish I had my playbill right here with me or I'd just read them off. But I just want to tell you, it was so fabulous. And we saw it last, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before that, as you guys know. And then I went this past Thursday and saw it again with a friend of mine from work. And we volunteered and got to see the show free <laughs> and got to speak with the cast a little bit. It was amazing. And I want to go see it a third time because of songs. It's just like playing your favorite song. You don't just buy a CD and listen to it one time or even two or three times. You continuously listen to these songs and they have not left my head. But mainly, not just the songs are amazing, you guys. But it's the cast. This particular cast, you would want a CD of each one of their voices to listen to at night or in your car, jogging or walking. Any place that you listen to music, you'd want to hear this cast sing. And I asked some of them, did they have it? No, they don't have CDs, so I'm encouraging you people that love to act and sing and do plays. And when people come to enjoy your work, keep going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it moving. Do a CD of your voice and sound. I'm telling you, it's extra for for all of us out here that enjoy you. Oh my gosh. And then one of the cast members from a previous play that I got to meet, he played a character called Cookie. And he also volunteered that night because obviously he plays at the Ju Jubilee Theater. But he's amazing and we've become friends on Facebook. I've invited him over for dinner, the big dinner that I'm having in June. And he's talking about barbecuing and I was like, I would love to have you barbecue. So I think he's going to barbecue for me in June and for, for all of us, for himself, for me, for the guests. And I'm going to cook my butt off for him, for me, the guests, everybody. We're just going to have a great family and friend time here at my house in June. Uh, my sister, it was really for my sister, my oldest sister. She's the oldest living member in my family, like immediate family that I know. Because, you know, we have a small family. My mother had one brother and one sister. My dad had one brother. It's not a lot of people. However, their families had a huge family. I don't know all those people, okay? And so my immediate family are my sisters and brothers and our children. So, and then any extension of that, in-laws and friends and things like that, people that I've known near and dear. And you're watching BookTube and wondering, when is this chick just going to get to the darn book or the book page review? It is right here, but I'm telling you, I've had such an amazing, I'm telling you, since the spring starts, I always have a great time, but this is going to be probably one of the top years. Outside of doing Spring Gallery, gallery Night and starting it myself with my own studio, this particular year in 2015 is the best start off to any year that I've had during all the shows that are following art festivals, mu music festivals, plays, and so forth. This is one of the best years of my life. and. I am 50 years old. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm just grateful or something. But anyway, seriously, it's, just, it's just like everything has gone up a notch. And I've been going somewhere different every single weekend, enjoying myself and my family and friends in the theater and so forth and so on. And my book reading. So I'm thinking as my book reading is taking a back to a back seat to all the fun that's out there and my painting that I'm doing and just everything no it's really not and then yes it is it's kind of it's becoming a little like homework sometimes when i think about i'm oh goodness i must do my update but then i go 
whatever I talk about is just what I'm enjoying at that moment and, and hopefully they'll appreciate that. And I never really think you guys do. It's not like I'm undercutting, you know, the fact that you are actually here and on my channel. I'm sorry, I'm messing with my little box. I'm totally into black and white. And I think, I, I know it's because of all the color that I'm putting on my wall. But everything on my, my curtains are black. My walls are stark white, which I am not going to change. And I have this cute little collection of boxes. Then These have Q-tips in them. Some of them have beads for my earrings that I interchange. Cute little oval box. And then I have one that is a heart. I'm just going to show you. I know they're not books. But this is so cute. And I got these. These are brand new. And we have this cute little um, garage sale at my job. And... There's the last one, and it has bobby pins in it. So I've got something, uh, the heart one I think has some earrings in it. That way I can just take some earrings out, put them on right beside my bed, because my other ones are right behind you, the camera. So, getting on to black. <laughs> black book page for April, black and white. A reunion of ghosts. Now, I have been going through this book page, and what I'm getting ready for is the library sale on Sunday, April the 26th, you guys. I cannot wait. So, and I know they're not going to have, they do have a lot of brand new books. That's what I really love about a library sale. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think it's because some libraries just have multiple, multiple books. And I know my library does, and they keep a lot of theirs. The downtown Fort Worth library is what I'm talking about. And it's huge. It takes up a whole block. Um, and I love it. But... I've been circling some of the books in here that I want or highlighting them in yellow for Arthur's that I want. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I got this one book that's in a top pick that I totally have never read him. I think it's Nesbo. Let me take a look. 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 Let me find it. Anyway, all the top picks, I'm looking forward to reading some of their authors. One of the top picks I already have, and that's Donna. Um, Tart and the Goldfinch. Right next to it is the Euphoria by Lily King that I'm going to be looking for. If she's um, has any other books I really don't know because I didn't read this. I'm just going through the top picks. That way I can take a look at it. If I find Euphoria at this library sale, you know I'm going to get it. All right. However, if she has anything else and that's older, maybe uh, that's what I'm kind of looking for. Is artists in this book. And people that I haven't read. When I say artists, I think writers are artists. So that's just what I keep calling it. And I already have all three Donna Tarts. So I'm not looking for Donna Tart. Um, there's some other things that I highlighted in here. And here it is. Joe Nesbo, Blood on Snow. Now, I picked up. I didn't forget what I picked up. But it's a brand new book from Words on Wheels. And it was free. And that's one of the um, books that I might read and turn back into um, Words on Wheels. However, if I find this book or any other books by Mr. Nesbo, then I may keep that one and then just donate something else that I already have. Um, some other books on here in the top picks that I, I'm thinking about. I keep seeing this book with this guy, um, not the bishops, one of the family. 